Good morning. Today we are here at the Kroger Marketplace. We're going to go and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Yeah, as soon as we come into Kroger here, notice they have a little bit of a deal on watermelons, $5.99. The regular price has dropped. Also, had a feeling this would be happening $7.99 regular price now instead of $8.99, $5.99 on sale. Also, $6.99 for the eight pound bag of navel oranges, regular price $7.99. We saw these at Sam's Club for a little bit over $8, so much better deal here. We did notice cantaloupes have gone up in price here at Kroger. They were $3.29, now $3.49. Another price increase. $1.49 a pound for the tomatoes on the vine. It's not as good of a sale as we saw a couple weeks ago, but the regular price on these now is $2.19 a pound. Um, bought some of these the other day. They are pretty delicious. We are always getting comments on avocados and mangoes, so I did want to point out again, they are on a digital coupon for $0.88. Cents. $0.88. Cents. You can uh, use this up to five times. These are the large avocados also. And I do have to say, the mangoes look pretty good, too. Wanted to point out, they do have Coca-Cola, Pepsi, or 7-Up 12-packs, mix or match, this week, three. Uh, you got to buy three of them, but they come down to $15, making them $5 a 12-pack. And they have a deal on the buy, five, buy four or more mix and match uh, six-pack of plastic bottles here, four for 15 as promised, we are checking out a lot of the frozen items today. We get a lot of comments for me to check some of this stuff out. Uh, we, somebody asked about Jimmy Dean. Yeah, the prices continue to go up. These were $12.99, like you said. They are $13.49 now. Um, and they have added some since yesterday. Me and Jessica did some shopping here yesterday. This was completely empty. So good to see they're still coming in. Uh, been getting a lot of complaints on the Kroger uh, breakfast sandwiches and stuff not coming in. Um, yeah, it's they're not really coming in here either. I know they have a couple of them here, but they're usually pretty wiped out. Um, yeah, not many of these coming in. Actually, this is the most I've seen in a while. Haven't been pointing this stuff out really because we haven't been getting a lot of comments on this kind of stuff. So want to make sure that we're focusing on things that people are asking about and some of the high prices. Wow, look at this. Waffles here. You know, these were $2.99 last year for the same 24 count waffles. $4.29 on sale, $4.39 regular price now. And that is up from $3.99 not that long ago. I just noticed Egos are up also from $3.19 to $3.29. They were $2.99 just a couple months ago. Uh, and that was up from $2.79. So, yeah, more price increases on this stuff. Um, I had a feeling these were going to be going up though because we saw the Kroger brand go up a few weeks ago. Not too long. Usually the name brand goes up first, but usually they follow suit with each other. Some of the organic products here. Really struggling to get in some of these frozen organic products. And we're going to go over some of these today. But a lot of like the waffles and different breakfast type items. They do have some of the Simple Truth organic waffles back in. Got some comments on those, but... Yeah, a lot of these are even starting to put up some inconvenient stickers here. It's because it's getting really hard for them to get this stuff in. Got a couple comments over the last couple weeks. Check out some of the healthy choice meals. They are $3.79. I know they were on sale for the longest time. Uh, a lot of these other ones, though, these healthier options, either they're getting bought up or they're not getting them in here. I know they're on a little bit of a sale, but I don't know if that warrants them not coming in at all. So we have been getting comments lately on how Kroger vegetables have been very slow to come in um, all across the country. And we have a little bit of an issue here. We got some gaping holes, but they are getting in a bunch here. The, actually, this is all corn. That's kind of weird. This whole thing here is corn. Yeah, maybe they're not getting in as much as I thought. We got the green beans here. Kind of stretch out a little bit. Yeah, there's a lot missing actually. Green beans and corn, I don't see the peas. I don't see the mixed vegetables. Huh. I did find the peas and carrots and one box of the mixed vegetables. Uh, it is in a different cabinet. 
maybe they're moving some of this stuff over because they're not getting some of the name brands in here but definitely a lot lower here in the frozen vegetable aisle definitely seeing an issue with frozen potato products again uh, Kroger brand being probably the biggest one look at this they've put these big huge bags here on this aisle these are usually at the bottom usually at the bottom here they've switched this around to make it look more full I guess probably I mean they have been getting really expensive $3.49 for their regular fries but when you look at uh, Orita so Orita was $5.99 it has dropped a little bit to $5.79 still way too much but they definitely got a lot more Orita in than they do Kroger um, they've got a lot of the tater tots and stuff but we're starting to see it guys we're starting to see some gaping holes here this is Kroger marketplace and we're not used to seeing it here Kroger is still doing the buy three or more save two dollars each deal however this isn't on very many products as a matter of fact where this deal really shines is on coffee this week uh, they do have the ice mountain water on this deal making it $3.99 for what the regular price was last year but uh, somebody asked if I would check out some of these home baked items um, yeah I mean they got them in here it's it's probably the most I've seen here in a while uh let's see 549 part of that deal down from 799 it's a pretty good deal never tried any of these let me know down in the comments if you have also i always forget to do this today is may 5th 2023 just for point of reference um we've got plenty of stouffer's meals in here someone was saying that stouffer's has been low in a couple of your stores we get comments on these michelina meals from time to time they're actually on sale for a dollar from what the regular price was a little over a year ago so if you like i'm not a big fan of the michelinas meals but i know people always comment on them uh usually dollar tree is about the cheapest place to get them anymore but on sale for a dollar now dollar 25 at dollar tree so got some of it spread out there they're, they're really doing a good job of spreading things out to make it look like they have more like a couple things of different meals here because the thing is is that the other day when I was here there were just single aisles of the same thing so they're spreading it out making it look more full to be fair banquet has had a lot of problems lately we get a lot of comments that banquet meals are hard to keep in it's probably because they're pretty cheap although I don't even feel they're worth $1.79 the shelves being empty here could be in part that these banquet pot pies are a dollar a piece on sale do you see an inconvenience sticker down here though uh, we are starting to see inconvenience stickers mount here uh, at all different Kroger. So we got to pay attention to these things. Uh, you know, always let us know down in the comments of some products you're having trouble finding. And make sure you leave your city and state so we know where we can log it in at. You know, so that if we have anybody else on the channel, they'll know where to go or not go. Wow, Hungry Man has really gone up in price. Well, I guess, okay, so these were $3.99. These were $4.49 though. I remember the selects were a little more. Somebody was asking about these. $5.29 now, regular price. That is absolutely crazy. Uh, Marie Calendar, let's see, they got some digital coupons going on, $3.49. Um, that's not bad. Regular price now is $3.99. These were $3.49 regular price not that long ago, so keep that in mind kind of just glancing at some of the microwave meals uh, we get comments on these all the time i try to wait until i get a bunch of comments to kind of collectively go over some of them where the prices have gone uh, boston market meals are up 20 cents these were 379 now 399 they were the same as healthy choice but they've gone up but they are on sale two for six it's not bad three dollars a piece the stouffer's meals that we saw were the family size ones i did just notice that they have the smaller Sto stouffer's meals individual meals buy four or more uh get them for 250 a piece four for ten dollars so you have to get up to four but if you get more four or more two dollars and fifty cents a piece that's pretty good and i got some of the lean cuisine here the life cuisine which we get comments on 4.79 here but i've been seeing these go up pretty much everywhere uh we saw them i believe at meyer they're 4.99 I don't know we really don't eat microwave meals but I, I like to point them out for everybody asking about them uh, and yeah some of these include these lean cuisine meals also for the four more I don't know if you can mix and match between this and Stouffer's maybe 
might want to ask about that. But yeah, that definitely brings the price down some. Oh, looks like they have a digital coupon on DiGiorno pizzas here. $4.99, 14 to 34.2 ounce pizzas. $4.99 on the digital coupon. It's a pretty good deal. Okay, one of our longtime viewers that likes the gluten-free bread. Oh, somebody else also asking about Ezekiel bread. Looks like they got this back in. $5.49 on sale also, which is a good deal because it is $6.29 now regular price. But they've got the Canyon Bakehouse breads here too, which are pretty expensive. Uh, they just started coming back in because I remember we saw an inconvenience sticker on here a couple few weeks ago. But they do have um, a good amount in here. Got the hot dog buns, and yeah, again, these are gluten free. But you know, some some are missing. I always see some more Ezekiel sesame bread right there. Five forty nine on sale for that also. So we've been getting comments on garlic bread again. We see anything familiar? Yeah, lot missing here. It's a huge gaping hole here. Uh, we had this issue a little over a year ago. Uh, it was funny because none of the New York was coming in. The New York bakery. Now most of it is the Kroger brand. They got a couple different varieties here, but they're pretty much out of all the other ones, all the garlic sticks and stuff like that. Okay, I'm not going to lie, guys. This is where it's going to start to get ugly. Um, we've got a lot of Tyson chicken that's not coming in again. Big shocker, huh? Uh, let's see, we've got some things that are on closeout. We really can't count those because, but see, this is kind of what we're talking about. We're seeing more and more of these things. And a lot of companies, from what we understand, are either going out of business or merging with other companies to try and save money. So, you know, we'll just have to see what that brings in the future. But yes, yeah, some of the Kroger brands are low here too. They do got their chicken nuggets in. Uh, this is $10.99 for three pounds. I mean, that's crazy. I remember when this was $7.99. So usually when I consider something an issue is when we get two or three uh, people say the same thing on the channel of some shortages. One of those have been artificial sweeteners. Um, I don't see an issue here. As far as like Splenda, Stevia and the Raw, it looks like they have a good amount. Everything is pulled forward though. And, and you know, they're probably still getting this stuff in. And you know, it's like, but here we are with more inconvenient stickers. Uh, this is Domino 10 times confection sugar here. Inconvenient sticker, this is new. Um, plenty of regular sugar though, but look at this. They got an inconvenient sticker on the pure cane sugar. Right, we remember a year ago, guys, when, when sugar was hard to find. That's why I always say you find a good price on it, stock up on a little extra. You know, don't 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 go crazy, don't panic buy or anything, but it's good to have on hand, especially if you're really trying to save money and cook for yourself. That's the cheapest way and healthiest, if you ask me. Uh, $2.19 though for the four pound bags of sugar. No shortage on their sugar at all, uh, or Domino, as far as I can see here. The prices did go up. We went over this in Wednesday's video. I will put that link in the description below so that you can check out some of the sales. We, we went over all the meat sales uh, and more of the produce sales. So if you want to check that out, again, I'll leave that in the description below. But you need to keep an eye on some of this stuff. Flour hasn't really been an issue around here, but we still get comments of some people across the country uh, and outside the country. I know one of our longtime viewers in Australia was saying they were having trouble uh, with flour. Not not major trouble, just saying it was very low. Uh, there was a recall on gold metal. Um, the, you know what's funny? This is the first sign I've actually seen. Uh, and it shows right here. You can hit pause and check it out for yourself if you like. Um, but yeah, that's that was over a week ago. This is the first sign I've seen. And here's something else that we need to continue to look at, the Spice War. I know um, we always say if you're having trouble finding spices, go to Meyer. Meyer is pretty loaded down, but a lot of these are just hard to get in, guys. You know, but look at this. We're seeing inconvenience stickers everywhere. I haven't seen inconvenience stickers on uh, spices since before Thanksgiving. And we're starting to see them everywhere. Not good. 
Yeah, let me know down in the comments if you are noticing any issues with like cooking sprays, Pam, and stuff like that. And the only reason why I say that is what are we seeing here, guys? You know, inconvenience stickers everywhere. This will be next. This will be next. We'll see this come in low. I don't think this gets bought up as much, but they're putting these stickers out here for a reason. Maybe their other order that they had didn't go through. Maybe this is all they have. I don't know, but we're seeing more inconvenience stickers than I've seen at Kroger here in a long time. So if you remember the other day in our Meyer video, they didn't, they barely had any distilled white vinegar. They had the smaller ones, but they had none of the uh, gallons, none of the gallons. Uh, and Heinz, uh, it, it must be low. We're a couple more inconvenience stickers here, so I wouldn't be surprised. We saw, there was a period where Heinz distilled white vinegar was gone. We didn't see it for months. It had started coming back in, but now we're seeing the stickers again. So, I don't know. Kroger always seems to have theirs, though, so keep that in mind. So, when we went to Kroger at Meyer the other day, I thought we might have an issue with some of the dark red kidney beans. We get a lot of comments on dark red kidney beans. Uh, people, a lot of people have been saying that it's been low or out uh, in a lot of stores across the country. It was low at our Kroger and Meyer the other day, but this Kroger has a ton. Uh, this is a much bigger Kroger. I don't know, things can change overnight. I did want to point out, and we showed this the other day, there is a little bit of a sale on the Hunt's canned tomatoes. Uh, a couple of you out there were saying that it looked like there was another shortage of Hunt's canned tomatoes. We do have an inconvenience sticker, so I'm not saying that it's out. Obviously, there's a ton, but that's a new sticker. You know, just something to look at. And, and I'm going to be honest with you, I am not a fan of Kroger diced tomatoes. Uh, for, for not, Hunt's is the best in my opinion, you know, but Kroger, you know, especially since these went way up in price, these were 79 cents last year. Now they, now a dollar, they make it look like it's a good deal and it's not really. Somebody also asked if I would check out the Red Gold. Red Gold says it's your favorite. It's a good brand. It is. It really is. And they're on sale for a dollar. And honestly, I would definitely get Red Gold over the Kroger brand here. Regular price now on these, though, is $1.29. These were $1.19. So they did go up in price. But on sale for $1, you do not have to get $10. Use your Kroger Plus card, you get them for $1 a piece. Someone also was asking about the Contandina sauce here. Uh, they do have it at Kroger Marketplace. It is harder and harder to find. And I know she was asking about the big cans uh yeah they don't have the big cans here the bigger cans i mean this is about as big as it gets but we are sending an inconvenience sticker so i don't know see what happens you know i would definitely buy up a few of them don't see any inconvenience stickers on kroger pasta here we saw that it was very low at the other kroger we were at but the one thing i am noticing they have condensed it they have moved in some more barilla on the side and Kermet right here. Oh, I do see an inconvenience sticker. This is for the pot-sized angel hair. Another thing, too, I don't see it. Okay, here it is. Regular spaghetti right here. But they have definitely uh, kind of squeezed this in because they're not getting as much. Someone was saying there was a major shortage of macaroni and cheese where you are. And, um, yeah, I remember the first things to go were these four packs. And then we started seeing the boxes start going too and honestly this is very low i don't see any inconvenience stickers yet but i wouldn't be surprised if they start putting them up one thing is for sure there is no shortage of ketchup i do notice something though they're not getting in much hunts much hunts at all like that's it i don't know oh. Another inconvenience sticker. Well, we'll see what happens. I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of people are buying Heights, especially at Kroger, because of the price. $5.79 for 38 ounces of ketchup is ridiculous. For like 3 or $4 more, you can get 114 ounces at Sam's Club. So someone was talking about the Yum Yum sauce a while ago. It's been a while. I just noticed that it's finally come back in here at Kroger. These inconvenience stickers were here. So I don't know if they're just keeping these up here because this was something hard to get in, and that could be. But, uh, yeah, notice they got these here. This was a long time ago you asked about this, but just wanted to point it out that it has come back in, at least at our Kroger. 
Frank's Red Hot Sauce is really struggling. Um, they actually have a few of them here. Glad I stocked up when I did because um, we are seeing inconvenience stickers now on it. Uh, they this this has been here for a while, no surprise here. But been seeing this more and more in the comments, so just wanted to point out it is not just where you are. It's been hard to get everywhere. Uh, you can buy some really big ones at Sam's Club and just fill them up with your small bottle like I do. So yesterday we had a viewer on the channel say that there is absolutely no shortage of Chef Boyardee that you actually work for the plant. Um, after seeing this, yeah. I mean, this is completely full. Now, we saw at Meyer it was very low. We saw at Walmart they were condensing it like they weren't getting a lot in. And then we saw at the other Kroger where it was pretty wiped out. But maybe they just haven't gotten their order yet. But I wanted to mention this because we've been getting a lot of comments on this. At Kroger Marketplace here, it seems like it's well stocked. Now, as far as SpaghettiOs go, uh, I feel like it's weaning out, guys. I feel like this happened years ago. Didn't we see SpaghettiOs? kind of just go away for a while and then come back like i feel like this has happened before it's been a long time but i feel this was kind of what happened years ago we saw it like get condensed in the store go away for a while and then come back full force we're starting to see it get pushed out again maybe because of the prices okay so normally i wouldn't probably show something like this especially if somebody hasn't asked about it but i wanted to point this out like these soda stream things i don't even know what they're like i have no idea but i was walking through this aisle and i noticed they had an inconvenience sticker i wanted to show you the convenience of having an inconvenience sticker like it's nice that kroger really puts attention to detail on this because we can use this as a measuring stick like okay so if i drink this you know chances are this one ain't coming in this is their regular cola okay for some whatever reason they're not getting that but they're getting these so if i like these you may want to buy up a few because chances are yeah i mean you know hopefully not but this is kind of what we see with different brands and different items when we start seeing these we'll see other things get lower could mean a multitude of things but one it could mean that maybe they're going out of business we really don't know and if ever you question that, just look it up, Google it. I mean, companies usually aren't open about that kind of stuff, but you know, just wanted to point this out because I thought this was a weird inconvenience sticker to have, but the attention to detail that Kroger puts on their store, I think is great. And what I mean by that is that this is in an aisle where there are no other inconvenience stickers. You know, this is something where it's like, it's, like a huge aisle they could have just skipped over this and nobody probably would have not noticed the soda stream thing is right here around the corner here but just wanted to point this out because i think you know kroger deserves uh some some recognition for this i think this is cool that right here in the middle you know because they got the soda stream machine here so i understand that but this is where it is here no other inconvenience stickers but they thought to put this here and, and they made sure they got it done. I, I know it's something small, but small things matter to me. I did want to check the beans, dry beans and rice here. Looks like Kroger has gotten in a good amount, especially from last week. Um, it's good to see. It's good to see. And the prices have stayed the same. They have not gone up, thank goodness. I mean, they've gone up, but not over the last week. Got some of them here on the buy three or more save $2 each deal. We are seeing some inconvenience stickers on Mahatma rice. Not surprised here. Major shortage on this all around the world right now. So not too surprised to see the stickers here. But it is good to see that they're getting in some. More inconvenience stickers on different sauces and stuff. Some of the simple truth here. Some other ones. Ugh, I'll tell you. These things are popping up everywhere. Okay, so we did go over this before, but we've gotten a lot of comments. Uh, a couple of you out here wanted me to check to see if I could find a couple different things. Some longtime viewers. The only gentle ease. Okay, no, they've got it here. Twenty ninety nine though, so that went up a dollar. But they were taking these inconvenience stickers down, and now they just put them right back up. Really, they should probably just leave them up here. Because look at this. This is ridiculous. Uh. Bubs is gone. Oh no, there's a few down here. That's some of the expensive organic stuff though. Uh, 44, 49. Well, 
Okay, so they're out of a few of them. They got the Australian goat milk base and the nutritional milk base. They do have the Similac Sensitive 1899 here. We have seen this go up to 2099 in some places. Make sure you uh, make sure you get it for that price. But look at this. All these inconvenience stickers now, and they're really spreading out the Infamil. It looks like they've only got a couple different brands here. A couple different. Uh, they do have the Gentle Ease. They got the bigger one, bigger, bigger one, bigger ones here for $38.99. But sorry for the inconvenience. They're just uh, for this. I assume they're just. They don't know if they're going to be able to get it next time or not. And who knows, guys? Who knows? Okay, so we got a comment the other day. Uh, someone was asking if I could find the Kroger Insure drinks. I assume you were talking about Fortify here. They do have a couple of the boxes, um, but they're out of a lot of them right here. And this, this, these are in the wrong spot. This is where more Kroger brand goes. Um, they, they could be flying off the shelves because look at the regular price of the original Insure now. $10.29. For the ones that have higher protein, this is what these used to cost. Now they are $13.99. Guys, this is outrageous. Um, yeah. Wow. I thought maybe I was seeing things. But yeah, this is $10.29 for a six-pack now. That is absolutely crazy. Last year, a little over a year ago, these were $7.99. We saw them go up to $8.99, the initial raise. Uh, from $7.99 to $8.99. Now a year later, $10.29. And yeah, they are out of a lot of the Fortify. They have a couple of them here, but yeah, I don't know. I'm surprised not to see inconvenience stickers on here. So maybe they are getting them in and then they're just buying them up. Okay, while I was over here, I thought I would check out the Premier Protein drinks also because we get comments on these from time to time. These are $9.99 now. And that is up from $8.99. It's been a while since I've checked um some of these are a little cheaper though the pure protein was that a kroger brand no just uh kind of its own thing 8.99 for these on sale these are 9.99 also so i don't know if it's much of a difference also while i was over here i wanted to check out the children's medicine we get more and more comments on these a couple different people from canada have been telling us that they have had trouble finding children's medicine over-the-counter medicine and some other medicines um they are getting it back in here at our Kroger, but we we saw it crazy low at Target and some other places. We were at Walmart about a week ago. I didn't do a video, but it was low there too. Um, but I will say the main one they are getting in, what seems to be all the time now, is Tylenol. And this is the one people are always looking for. So good to see this coming in. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll continue to keep an eye on it. Let us know down in the comments if your stores are low on children's medicine. You know, there's something, something that should never get low, guys. This and the baby formula and many other things. It's like, I don't know, it's, just, it's crazy. Okay, guys, one thing is for sure. We've got some inconvenient stickers mounting here at Kroger. I'm convinced now we saw a lot at the other Kroger. We've even seen a couple at Meyer, which is very unusual. Uh, and we've been getting comments of people who shop at Meyer that have been finding a lot of inconvenient stickers. So maybe they're taking a page out of the Kroger handbook. But I got to say, I do like that they do that. So at least we know if you see it come in. Just an example that Yum Yum saw that somebody asked about months ago. Uh, you know, it's come in. They didn't take the stickers down, but they may not because they don't know. Because it's been so long, they may not take them down i mean they may just leave them up kind of like some of the baby formula but we are seeing new inconvenient stickers on the baby formula so i don't know guys we just have to be prepared uh stock up on the things that you need um and again you know i never encourage panic buying or anything like that but something we definitely got to take note because this was kind of the same things that was happening a year and a half ago and then we were finding more and more shortages we will continue to keep an eye out on some of these things while trying to find the best prices i got a little probably carried away with some of the things but this is all new this is new stuff so we need to kind of pay attention um also you know if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe we do these videos every day to try and help save you money in the grocery stores and keep you in the know for events like this guys thank you so much for watching today have a great weekend with all that being said i am out and always remember the adventure is out there.